Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about how Dubai recruiter search a candidate through LinkedIn, through different job portals. And now we have a right person who will give us the right advice. Mr. Sayed Hassan. He is a top LinkedIn voice and he has a good experience in recruitment and HR. So hi Sayed, how are you? Hello. Thank you so much. Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. Thank, Thank you, you for giving me valuable, valuable time. So basically, uh, the reason behind this discussion is uh, I have seen many working professionals. Okay, usually they are applying jobs from India, Pakistan, from different different world in Dubai. But the problem is they are saying we are getting rejections. Okay, sometimes I, even I feel uh, maybe their profile is not matching. Maybe they are applying irrelevant jobs, and. Uh, but some of them they are saying as uh, like everything is matching like whenever we are applying a jobs uh, job we check job descriptions we check everything so i just want to understand like uh, what kind of mistakes uh, they are doing or what should they should consider before applying a jobs well uh, that's a very good question actually mm -hmm. and uh, you know many people do come up often with this question as well so uh, the the point you mentioned irrelevant job that is very peak mm -hmm. you know uh, this ratio lots of people they apply on irrelevant jobs so for example you know if you go through a job description you might feel okay this is the exactly what i have been doing but they make small small mistakes mm -hmm. because you know in dubai mostly most of the companies they're using the ats system exactly. now mm -hmm. even if you if they do not have an ats mm -hmm. system they have you know, now indeed LinkedIn, they have built in ATS systems, mm -hmm. so which filter out the resumes and sends auto rejection sometimes. Mm -hmm. So it, you know, always depends, mm -hmm. you know, that there can be several reasons for mm -hmm. those rejections. But what I believe, what I have seen in the Dubai market specifically, uh, you know, the reason for the rejection is the ATS system. For example, if I'm applying for a job, mm -hmm. I'll make sure, you know, everything in my resume has the same content as of the job description mm -hmm. it should not be 100 percent same mm -hmm. but for example if i'm applying for a human resources job right so i should have all the skills or the keywords that are mentioned in the job description mm -hmm. they exactly should be into the resume mm -hmm. because if this does not match definitely you're going to get a rejection exactly. mm -hmm. and most of the rejections sent are automated in dubai at the moment yeah great great advice yeah yeah you're absolutely right because uh, um, like even we need to understand one more thing like even um, let's suppose uh, you previously worked in a healthcare industry and now you are applying a job in real estate industry so you have to make sure you put relevant keywords relevant to that industry definitely definitely you know even in indeed and linkedin once you apply for a job you can put a filter for example if i am from as you know mm -hmm. industry I'll definitely put, okay, uh, do you have this much experience in this industry? If you say no, if it's a deal breaker for me, definitely, mm -hmm. you know, it's going to automatically send you the rejection. Mm -hmm. So it depends, you know, so you really, you know, need to focus on the job description, craft your resume in mm -hmm. the same manner and make sure you add the relevant keywords and do not add, you know, mm -hmm. it is not advisable to add much mm -hmm. images into your resume because the parsing, the ATS, mm -hmm. it, uh, it goes disaster. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. The second question I want to ask because there are many professionals. Okay, they want to start their career now, or they want to move to UAE. What kind of skills it's highly demand in UAE? Like uh, I just want to understand so that they can prepare for these skills. They can start learning. Okay. Firstly, I'll just talk about the the you know the tech uh, recruitment. Mm -hmm. uh, in tech, what mostly in demand in the UAE is. Uh, developers for mm -hmm. example I'll talk about uh, front-end developers mm -hmm. back-end developers uh, quality assurance is also mm -hmm. in demand mm -hmm. but mainly they're looking for front-end back-end developers who have good expertise especially mm -hmm. with tech stacks like mm -hmm. uh, you know mean which includes angular uh, mern which includes react mm -hmm. and yes WordPress developers they're also in very very much demands because Dubai it's you know it's a glamorous you know mm -hmm, place mm -hmm. so they need good portfolios so they need definitely need good designers they need uh, good website developers so these are the you know the tech uh, positions that are in demand okay so in tech or in it 
what about digital marketing professional for sure mm-hmm. absolutely it's mm-hmm. it's on the boom you know mm-hmm. digital marketing because dubai really needs mm-hmm. marketing at the moment mm-hmm. every company here mm-hmm. they have very good you know marketing people mm-hmm. so digital marketing at the moment agencies if you have your own agency if you're looking for jobs in marketing definitely i definitely recommend dubai for sales for marketing and you know tech definitely it's going to be there that's more perfect perfectly perfectly fine now the third question i want to ask like uh, uh, consider yourself like you are a recruiter okay and whenever you receive applications okay on what basis okay you shortlist candidate or reject a candidate so i just want to understand which what is uh, the criteria um, when you recruit a candidate okay so if we omit the ats part for mm-hmm. example uh, the resume went through the ats or mm-hmm. maybe there was no ats the mm-hmm. resume directly came up to me okay i am screening it definitely you know uh, other than the formats and all thing because once you are giving the manual screening you go for okay how many years of experience the person has for example if i'm looking for a senior resource i need to make sure the resume you know depicts the same years of experience so i'll check the experience i'll check the skills you know uh, i recommend people to have a you know specific skills uh, header so i'll check the skills whatever skill the person is having uh, how many number of years of experience which industries he has been into and obviously i'll check the you know the the the, the jumping you know mm-hmm. uh, normally when you go through a resume you see okay a person at least 3 plus years is a healthy time period to spend in a company so i look for those things mm-hmm. and definitely you know uh, i have hired so many resources who have been jumping here and there but yeah they turned out to be very good resource mm-hmm. so uh, i do not really you know judge on the basis of the resume so i definitely uh, myself or uh, somebody from a team i ask please uh, if you can give a screening call so a screen uh, you know have a communication and gather the information if you have a red flag for somebody just screen it will take one or two minutes screen and check if your red flags are true because once you communicate you get to know the person so if if all those things are you know good uh, then we shortlist the candidate then we call them to assess them in person mm-hmm. all right if a person makes through the, the you know the first manual screening uh, you call them on on site then comes the soft skills part and there you can assess the technical skills in a you know much better way so we make sure that we balance both things the soft skills his personality the way he speaks the way he responds his ethics you know how uh, if he's culturally fit or not on the other hand the same you know percentage for the uh, his technical skills so if both things are going hand in hand definitely you know we are going to select but yeah if if we reject you know the question if we reject why do we reject uh maybe you are culturally not fit this does not mean you are a misfit maybe you are coming from a very really you know different culture maybe the tech skills that you have uh they might not be uh, that you know 100% utilized in that capacity so it does not mean that you are misfit for the role it might mean the company have some different requirement mm. so these are the you know some some highlighted causes of the rejections very nice i say nasan thank you so much uh, you know um, like um will helpful for many many working professionals or whoever is looking for a new job or whoever wants to move from anywhere like from india or from pakistan to move or whoever is targeting the bio market i will share uh, mr hasan uh, profile in the in the linkedin profile in the video description you can just go through it also what i want from your side if you have any questions any questions related to this uh, uh, recruitment process or anything if you want to target jobs in dubai and then write in a comments me and mr hasan will review your questions and we'll answer definitely definitely and really appreciate your work <laughs> oh, yeah. really. thank you, you know, so much whatever you're doing yeah, it's, it's really great helping people out okay. thank you thank, thank you, you so much thank you.